Okay, we are looking, and I got a nose. Me and my buddy in the backyard of a house, and we know the source of terrorism. And we're going to show it to you right now. Okay? Keep an eye on this here and see it. Adjust it, would you? Aha, see? Did I tell you? Can you lift it, lift it up? What, the whole thing? No, 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 no. Oh. Get my face, get my face. Uh, I can. You can tell I've done this before, right? There we go. There we are. On there? Alright, yeah, good, good. Go. Alright, you're with me now. I'm going to show you the source of terrorism. Here we go. How are we looking? Huh? That's it, folks. This is the drug war. This little plant right here, that's scraggly because I didn't ha know how to do it right and all of that. And what's happening is that uh, it has to be imported from Mexico. Okay? So, hold on here now, guys, I gotta do this. No, I'm going the wrong way here. See myself. And while it's being imported from Mexico, people in Mexico are being killed over this. That you can grow in your own backyard. Marijuana. An herb. Herbs they were given, it's in Genesis. But we're living in a time where that which is good is deemed evil, and that which is evil is deemed good. Okay? That's the uh, epiphany on the subject. This is a gift, and yet it is seen as the enemy. We have a mindset people intoxicated with power, addicted to power. The, one of the worst addictions gone. Addicted to wealth. Addicted to lust. Using other people as objects. Objectification. Commodification. Okay? Enslavement, master-slave relationships, plantation mentality. The laws relating to this were passed back in the 30s and it were the laws were directed at Mexicans and Mexican Americans, Mexicans from Mexico go back home with your marijuana. All right. Didn't care if it was good or bad. It wasn't the dominant culture. In this case the dominant culture was the white man's culture. Okay, the plantation culture and the poor whites and the working class whites to suffer the very same thing. The same thing with the other drugs. Heroin directed at African Americans, cocaine act directed at African Americans, and poor white working people as well as other minorities. Okay, we have Jim Crow laws. These laws were passed directed at African Americans and Mexican Americans and poor white working people. No science behind it. It was passed against marijuana in the 30s. Reefer madness. It is madness. This is insanity. Look how many people are being killed over it. You put a, a seed in the ground. It grows. Woody Harrelson did that with a state trooper standing by. And it wasn't illegal to have the seed. But as soon as he put it in the ground, it was illegal. Now, if that isn't insanity, farming. A farmer, because who says, well, it's the plantation mentality, Jim Crow. You can't have these folks having these drugs. They'll do them for recreation. Anslinger, the first drug czar, had this quote about African Americans. Coloreds were looking at white women twice. Twice? Well, that's definitely a reason to make it illegal now, isn't it? and destroy families and communities and put people in jails and have how many people incarcerated and now we have this guy Jerry Brown. Jerry, here's your answer. Okay. 
for a healthy California, take the crime out of drugs. Hello, Jerry. It's that simple, Jerry. You can do it. Come on now. Okay, folks? We can get this straight. There is a Bill of Rights. Okay? What I put in my pipe and smoke is my business. Put that in your pipe and smoke that. Okay, folks. About the insanity of the drug war. The number of people that were found on the side of the road in Mexico with hands, feet cut off. All murdered. You know? 48. So... This is insanity. But it's the younger generation coming up who are paying for it. All of these services, we're talking about entitlement programs, you want a stimulus for the economy? Take the crime out of drugs. Stop building a prison infrastructure. Okay, we're giving up our social rights, our human rights, and there is an attack on the people themselves. We, the people, have to stop cooperating in our own oppression. We are good little boys and girls doing what the people in the big house tell us to do because we don't have to do our own thinking for ourselves at all now, do we? We'll just listen to the boys up in the castle and they'll do our thinking for us. Haven't we grand now? Folks, Aristotle, okay, Plato, Socrates, going back to what rights are about in the Republic, a constitutional democratic republic, Socrates' allegory of the cave. That is the drug mentality. People are chained to the wall and they can only see the shadows of the fire behind them, reflections of reality and no idea of what the substance is. And if somebody tries to free them, they don't want to know. Every group is, group is guilty. African American, Mexican American, cooperating in their own oppression. They can vote the dumb fucks out. All people are doing is complaining why these policies are, you know, why people are being put in jail. Well, take it to the next level. Get your heads out of your asses. Okay, what the shit off your eyes and take a good look around. And that's what Socrates was talking about with Allegory of the Cave. Check it out for yourself. Okay, now that's the metaphysical aspect of the question. From Bard Bart, Metaphysician, poet, bard, and here's a poem on the subject, okay? Religious experience. Y'all be speaking theologically, not thinking. Presumption be on your part. Lacking discernment cause of spiritual pride. Old age of justice, without the tempering of mercy. Rules and regulation, religion offering nothing new, except the same old witch hunts. Hypocrites. Partaking of herb is a religious experience. To believe blindly otherwise is the usual, damnable ignorance. And there it is, folks. So you have it. We, the people, can participate in the electoral process. We can get in. People can get involved with the Occupy movements. We need to occupy the earth. We need to make farming of herbs, medicinal herbs, legal again. That is what is going on in California. All right, that's it. Bard Bart, follow me on Twitter, at Bard Bart. And the website is bardbart.com. Most dangerous terrorist criminal in the universe. I'm out to corrupt the youth. Like old Socrates, I'll have to drink me cup of him luck. I know the crowds are preparing it for me. Ah, as long as I got something in the pipe on the way out, I'll be grand. There we go. Godspeed. <laughs>